You know, it's a wonderful phrase when someone says, hey coach, it makes me feel good. But as a coach, you know, you have to do the work. I've, I've been lucky enough or unlucky enough to watch lots of different coaches and seen what they've done or haven't done. But you have to earn it. It's, it's something that is not given to you. It's something that you have to get in there and bust your tail to get. No, I think coaching means a lot, you know, everything to him. Um, you know, even after 29, 30 years that he's been coaching, um, you know, you walk into his bathroom and there's still stacks of, of coaching books there. You know, at what point do you ever, does that ever stop? For him, it doesn't. The thing about athletics and coaching is that you have to read a lot and you have to study a lot. You go to clinics, you do a lot of things that you need to do to improve. And a lot of this stuff came afterwards. You know, I wasn't necessarily the the best prepared at that time, but uh, gradually with the, the idea that you want to be a better coach and provide a better opportunity for your kids, you work hard and you do all the things that you have to. I mean, looking back now that I was his assistant coach and watching him, I'm just more in awe of what he did because he would break down the film, detail, his practices were scripted. He would be that well prepared. He believed in preparing you for any obstacle, anything that was going to happen, and he didn't leave you just hanging out there and just expect you to do something without preparing you to meet that challenge. And he expected great things from you, and so you didn't want to disappoint him. <laughs> just watching him win those state championships, I can remember there was, there was teams that he had, and I thought, there's no way he can do this, and he would, he would pull it out. He put kids in places that, you know, weren't great athletes, but put them in places where they were going to have success, and so that's, you know, that's how they, they won state championships. I enjoyed the idea that he expected something from me, that I just wasn't in there, that he expected me to perform, to give my 100%. Not that I wouldn't make mistakes, but that I was expected to work hard at it. I think that most kids that, that I coached, uh, you know, understood that I wanted as much as I could get from them. Uh, I think that each kid is different, uh, but overall you can't treat them different all the time. Uh, individually you can, but not as a whole. I'm honored that I was able to be a part of his program, both as a coach and as a player, and now just as a friend and a colleague. I think just the time and the energy that he put in to just give you the skills to be successful, and that's not just wins and losses, but the skills of life, of you know having your back against the wall and just knowing that if you work hard, you're self-disciplined, you sacrifice, that you're going to be a success in whatever you choose to take on. As far as coaching is concerned, you know, it was a love. I just, it was, and I still love it. I, I like doing it.